Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing a haul video and I just want to show you guys what I recently picked up from Target, Marshalls, and Ulta. Let's start with Marshalls. I know there's a lot of hype around Marshalls right now because they're selling high-end makeup and supposedly they have like Pat McGrath and Too Faced. I honestly did not have a lot of options at Mar Marshalls. So when I picked up a few things, first off, I picked up the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. And I bought this one for $15. Let's see if I can open this really quick. And I used to have this shade in a palette, but that was like a long, long time ago. And I think it's just perfect for my skin tone now since we are still in winter. So here's how that one looks. And then I picked up a MAC blush in Gingerly. And I think I used to have this one. And I probably tossed it because it's been years since I've had it. So it's nice to pick it up again and uh, use it for now and fall. Okay, then next I went to Target. I was trying to not buy too much stuff because I already went to Elta and only picked up a couple of things. I picked up the Milani palette in... Okay, there's not a name on here, but here's how the packaging looks. And I was told this was a dupe for the Hourglass Ambia Light palette. I don't know which one because they have so many, but um, yeah, I wanted to check out what the hype was all about. You get one matte bronzer, one matte blush, one shimmery blush, a highlight, three eyeshadows, two matte, and one shimmer. Um, next, I bought another uh, Maybelline New York Vinyl Lipstick in Charmed. And I don't think I have this one. If I do, I am going to be really mad because I was trying to get the lightest one. Okay, so next is Elta, and I'm just going to pull out as I go. I got the Amazing Grace Discovery Set. I love this perfume, guys. If you guys have not tried Amazing Grace by Philosophy, their smells are really clean, and it's, for me personally, I don't really like sweet scents, and this is, like, right up my alley. And it's not as expensive as all the other brands out there. Next, I picked up the Duo um, adhesive eyelash glue and I really wanted to get the Ardell one but I could not find it. I don't know why. I went to Ulta. I couldn't find it anywhere and so I just decided to pick this one up. Hopefully it's just as good as Ardell. Maybe not. I've heard great things for Ardell. I just couldn't find it at my local Ulta. Next we have the Ardell Professional Naked Lashes and 421. If you guys have not tried the Naked Lashes line from Ardell, Get your hands on some because they are so good. They're very natural and the band are very um, thin. So it's very easy for you to put on. I got those. And then I got from e.l.f. I got the Complexion Sponge Trio. I really wanted to get the small one for my concealer because I don't think I have one for that. So I bought this set and I think this was like... I think only $10, so you get three for 10. Um, let's see here, I got the e.l.f. Luminous Putty Blush. I do not have one of these. Um, I know I mentioned in my past videos, I wanted to get my hands on a couple of them because I have not tried them. I have the matte one. This shade is in Bermuda. And it's more of a, I would say a peachy pink color. So yes, I'm excited to try this. Along with that, I think I got the bronzer as well. Yeah, this one is in Summer Fridays. I already have the matte one, but I wanted to try the luminous one. If I can take it out of the package. There you go. Okay. 
So this one's more of the, um, it's, it's luminous, so it's not going to be as matte as the other one. And I'm also excited to try that because, you know, summer is right around the corner. And then I picked up the new Essence Pure Nude Bake Blush, and this one is in Pink Flush. These are all over YouTube right now. Um, I just wanted to get one because I'm not really a big fan of shimmery blushes. But there's so much hype on it that I wanted to at least try one out. Next, I got the Essence Concealer. I have heard great things about this concealer. And so I wanted to pick it up and try it. This one is in 40 Shell. I am, I might do a like try on with all of the new things. Let me know if you guys want to see that. Just Put it down in the comments, say I want to see a try on. Um, and then I got a mini NARS travel size concealer. This one is in custard medium one. Hopefully it's my shade. I didn't get to look at it. I just picked it up because it was like, you know how Alta has like those um, stands in the front with all their travel size products. And yeah, looks like a light color if I really, cause this was $15, I think full size, I think it was like 30 something. I, I don't know. I just don't want to spend so much money in the concealer. Last thing I got is the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation in Santa Fe. And I am trying, I got the last one. And as you can see, the packaging is kind of dirty. I think it's because it was the last one, um, which is fine. I mean, as long as the foundation has not been touched, I'm fine with that. And yeah, here's how that looks. I am so excited to try this foundation. I have heard great things about NARS foundations and I'm so happy I finally have my hand on one. I have never owned a NARS foundation before. All right, guys, that is everything that I have picked up. If you guys want to see like a try on video of me putting on all these new products, please let me know. Just put it in the comments down below and I'll be more than happy to do a try on video. So I will see you guys in my next one. My next one will be probably a shot mustache for the month of March. See you guys later. Bye.